How do prisoner with IQ of 150 escape? Tie his wrist up with shoelace, push his finger thumb on the table, and find a right angle. Booting his foot once, crack, he himself fractures his finger thumb, yet this man remains silent. Besides, he threatens his fellow prisoners to take illegal drugs. Then he goes to the restroom, and take out a roll of dental floss. Tighten one vial's head by this dental floss. After that, he places it between teeth. The vial lies on his mouth. Regulate the vial's position in mouth. Hence, he breaks lighter's top and gets small lighter flint, and puts it to his fingertip. Take out a piece of iron to test it. Great, he is a savage criminal. He used to escape twice and murdered two police officers at that time. Thereby, he is sentenced to life imprisonment. He has drawn up plans for ages to embrace this opportunity. He even builds muscle in prison. Without gym machines, he covers the water bag with his clothes. This time, the warden finds him. This guy would like him to save his blood cancer son, because only his marrow fits this guy's son. He knows chance comes, which he has long waited. He is taken to the hospital then. He is supervised by four policemen. Even, a helicopter is set in case he escapes. He calms down and enjoys view. He sits on wheelchair and being gotten off by the police. Those sniffer dogs come near him to smell. But these dogs even fear him. He is handcuffed and fettered, then he is placed on bed by the doctor. Due to his handcuffing, it is impossible to get marrow. Police officers hesitate for a while and then open his handcuffs. His throat is continually active. After opening the handcuffs, they cuff his hands on the operating table. He regulates the position of his finger. A doctor gave him an anesthetic. The glass medicine in his mouth is broken after he bites. The anesthetic index stands at 84 but this man still doesn't lose his consciousness. His hands are slipped off. He suddenly opens his eyes. He strongly boots once. Peter uses his thumb to slip the acetylene tank. He uses the fire nozzle to burn policemen. However, he is gunned by a police. Peter spits glass fragments out. He hands two small defibrillators and quickly jumps into the vent. Two sides of frictional walls emit sparks. In the laundry room, he wears a blouse. When the warden comes, he disappeared. He run to the upstairs through the vent. On the third floor, he finds a scissor and gauze bandage. He finds it fairly hard to move because of his fetter. He threatens doctors by knife to use a laser gun in order to cut off the chain. Hence, he sews his injury with a needle by himself. The brutal man like him don't need to use the anesthetic. A doctor is blustered by him. The warden comes and brings the gun, but he is not afraid. A marrow that his son deeply needs must be from a live person. If this prisoner dies, his son will also pass away. Peter continues to threaten the doctor to get the pistol. The warden is nervous that his colleagues kill Peter, so he stops them. Peter takes the doctor to the room storing the tin-made cans. Those tin-made tanks can be used for boom, but he oftentimes understates his rival. The female doctor takes advantage of his back. She secretly hits his nape with the tank. Then she hits his thigh. She picks up the gun and flees. He keeps an acetylene tank and spray, slowly spraying all the floors. At this time, the warden runs here. Peter raises one hand and pretends to surrender. Abruptly, he throws the cigarette in. A loud explosion sound, boom, boom. When the warden turns his face, Peter disappeared again. He climbs up the rooftop's path and be ready to go to the next detention center. He uses a piece of cloth to avoid hitting by barbed wire. He smashes the glass after going across. At the same time, police officers entirely surround on the downside. They continually use weapons to attack Peter. On the other side, the warden on the high place shots off a light. He saves Peter once again. Peter dominates the director with a needle. He finds the most unstable place of the building. Peter pushes the cabinet, takes the fire brigade, then he starts to break the wall. He has practiced for many years because of this moment. A drain cover is pushed on the road. Peter is out of the drain and successfully escaped the prison. He then steals a car and enjoys freedom that is long lost. However, he only enjoys for a short time because the warden chases. He drives to another road. Each one is in own direction. The warden is also a formidable person. He runs across the slope and plunges into land. Peter's car is stopped when he goes to a bridge. He is persistent. He tries to run with his injured leg. But Peter is trapped by the police because they ordered the bridge to be lifted. The warden comes, he must capture this man. At this time a helicopter also flew over them. Peter takes out the gun and shot it. The warden used his body to protect Peter from his colleagues. Peter pushes the warden and run to the bridge rail. The warden 
moonshots Peter's injured thigh. Peter falls. The warden also jumps down. He takes Peter to the shore. Peter feel gratitude so he agrees to donate his marrow to the warden's son. When he wakes up, he also asks the police whether the surgeon is success. The policeman tells him that the surgery was very successful. A later second, a gun pointed at him. You guys are green, said Peter. This movie ends here. Like and share to support us. See you again in other next videos, goodbye.